Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. Today in this lecture, I will cover about what are the trigonometric identities. In my previous lecture, I covered what are the trigonometric relations, what are the trigonometric angles values at uh, like sin 0, sin 30, sin 45. And in my previous lecture, I showed you about what are the different relations between complementary angles. So in this video, we will cover what are trigonometric identities. Basically, there are three identities in terms of square. First is sine square a plus cos square a is 1. Second is 1 plus tan square a is equals to secant square a and third is 1 plus cot square a is equals to cosecant square a these three identities you should learn by your heart because the maximum question from trigonometric chapters will be asked from these three identities and the questions from complementary angle formula which i discussed in our previous uh, lectures okay so please do remember these tri three trigonometry identities from your heart let me give you some example how the question comes on this okay so students here is question one in which on lhs we are given that cot of a minus cos of a upon cot of a and cos of a and in lhs in RHS, we are given that cosecant A minus 1 upon cosecant A plus 1. And we have to prove that LHS equal RHS. So first I will take the term of LHS and I will convert all these terms whether it is in quote, cos, in sine and cos also. Okay. So quote A minus cos A upon quote A plus cos A. Here it is equal cos what is the formula for uh, let me write the formula in left right tab formula is cot a is equals to cos a upon sin a this is the formula i told you in my previous lectures so i am writing here it as cos a by sin a minus cos a upon cos a by sin a minus cos of a so what i will do here is i will take cos a out so this is coming left as 1 by sin a minus 1 in the denominator if i take cos a out this will comes out to 1 by sin a plus 1 so this cancel out and this comes out to be 1 by sin a is cosecant a is equals to 1 by sin a so i can write directly 1 by sin a is cosecant a minus 1 upon cosecant a plus 1 this we have to prove so our lhs is equal to rhs which we have to prove so i hope you guys are clear now let me give you some more examples on this trigonometric identities so students here is one more question so let me solve this question from the identities which I told you. This is in question we are given that sin square 63 plus sin square 27 upon cos square 17 upon cos square 73. So as I told you in my previous lectures also that there is a complementary relation between two trigonometric function means sin of 90 minus a is cos a and cos of 90 minus a is sin a so i'll do this question with the help of these two formula and one formula is sin square a plus cos square a equal one which i told you earlier okay let me write sin square 67 plus sin square 27 as uh, cos 90 minus 63 square i hope you guys are clear now i use this formula 
cos of 90 minus a is sin a so this is cos square 17 plus I'll convert this as sin of 90 minus 17 square so this comes out to be sin square 67 plus sin square 63 plus cos square 63 degree upon cos square 17 upon sin square 17 so now we will use this identity so sin square a plus cos square a is 1 and in denominator we are also getting as 1 so our answer is 1 so basically students by using the formula of trigonometric uh, complementary angles and trigonometric identities we can solve this question we can solve any type of question which we will in face in the exam also let me give it two three more example on this so student here is one more question in which we have to find out the value of 1 plus 10 square a upon 1 plus cot square a so as I told you in one identity that 1 plus 10 square a is directly written as secant square a and 1 plus cot square a can be written as cosecant square a okay so secant square a upon cosecant square a by using these two identities okay what is the formula for secant is secant square a will be I can write this as 1 by cos square a 1 by cos square a and I can write cosecant square a as 1 by sin square a this is 1 by sin square a so this will comes out to be tangent square a because sin by cos is tangent so I use all these formula to get our answer as tangent square a so guys please do remember this all the formulas from your heart like because you will face you will encounter this formulas many times in the questions so I, ha I hope you guys are clear up to now and if you are still having any issue or doubt please do comment in the comment section thank you students